When severe weather is on the way, you'll hear us say you need multiple ways to get your warnings. Now, a cell phone is one way to get your warnings, but it is not the most reliable. The most reliable and best way to get your warnings is a NOAA weather radio. This is your standard NOAA weather radio, and it will do the job. It'll wake you up in the middle of the night, and it'll let you know when bad weather is headed your way. Also, it runs on batteries and a power source connected to the wall, so it's got a backup source of power. So if you lose power for an extended period of time, you'll still be able to get your forecast and your warnings. So this is what it looks like. It's your standard white NOAA weather radio. And also inside the box, you'll get that power cord that you wanna plug into the wall. You could also find in the box, sometimes they'll have actually a coupon for some batteries because you will need to buy those batteries separately. So once you've got your batteries, you wanna open up the back of the radio and you'll need three AA batteries. So we'll go ahead and put those in there. and slide the back on. Now something that's very important is you wanna make sure that the switch on the side is in the on position. If it's in the off position, you actually won't get your warnings. It's really basically just a clock at that point. So you have to make sure that that switch is in the on position. That is very important. You also wanna make sure that you're plugging your radio into the wall as soon as you unbox it and you keep it plugged in at all times. Remember the batteries, those are just for emergencies. So to set your NOAA weather radio, you're going to go to menu and you use the up and down arrows to actually set your location. So that's what we're gonna do first is set location. So you go up until you find set location and you wanna do select. Then you wanna go through this menu using the up and down arrows to single. That's gonna set it for a single county. So let's say you want to set your first county here. You hit select, USA, we're in the state of Alabama, and you're going to go through this list until you find your county. So for example, we're going to set this for Jefferson County. We'll go down through the list until we get to the J's. The counties are gonna be in alphabetical order. So once you get to Jefferson, you're going to hit select and then menu, and that's going to save it. You'll see the message come up that says saving and that's how you know that you've saved your county. The next thing you wanna do is hit menu and you want to set the channel. Now that's going to be how you actually pick up the radio signal. So you'll hit select on that and it'll pull up a list of different stations you can actually go through those stations and you'll hear a lot of them aren't clear, so you wanna choose whichever station is the clearest. This is gonna be the clearest one for us. So we'll hit select, menu to save. To see if you've done everything correctly and make sure that you're actually uh, done with that whole process, you can hit weather snooze. And that will test it and it should pull up that voice and you'll hear a forecast. For example, we're going to go ahead and go through the process of setting another county. And what you can actually do on these weather radios is if you have family members in other counties around the state, or if you want warnings for counties around you, you can actually set multiple counties. So we'll go to menu, use the up and down arrows to go to set location. We'll hit select on that. And you can use the up and down arrows to go to multiple. So you can see we've already set Jefferson County. We can go up to number two, hit select. You'll see USA, Alabama, and then you'll pick the next county. For example, for this one, we're going to go down to Shelby County and we'll set that county. But you could choose whatever county that you'd like to get those warnings for. We'll hit select on Shelby County, menu, menu, saving, and you can test it and you should be good to go. Now you're going to get warnings for both Jefferson and Shelby counties and you can enter multiple counties. If you wanted to keep going and entering more, you can do so as well. 
So now you're done setting up your weather radio. You can go back through and set the time uh, through the menu options there. Uh, but you've got your warning set up. You've got your channel set up. The most important thing to remember too is you wanna make sure you're changing your batteries out in your radio every six months. So when we set the clocks back and forward when you're changing the batteries in your smoke detectors, you should also be changing the batteries out in here, making sure you've got those fresh batteries. And whenever a warning comes out, you'll now be notified on your NOAA weather radio and you know to turn on the TV. And we'll be here tracking the severe weather for you.